My name is Dave Moss. I spend approximately 200 days a year at racetracks all over the country, helping professional and amateur road racers and track day riders with suspension tuning on their motorcycles. This is Two Click Sound. Go ahead, 2006. Okay, I've got a 2006 Kawasaki ZX6. It's a 636, it's got stock suspension. The gearing is up a tooth in the back, down a tooth in the front. Okay, um, just bone stock OEM suspension, no changes at all. Uh, it's, it's been tuned previously, but then it's been tuned by like everybody who walks by my bike, so. But because nothing, nothing's you're just taking advice from other people that give you input? Exactly. Okay. Um, has the fork oil ever been changed? No. Has the shock oil ever been changed? You've never blown a fork seal? No. Okay. Um, the gearing package that's on the bike, when was that installed? Mm, year, a year ago. Okay. Um, okay. So we need, I need to make sure you got the correct chain slack. Um, the position of the forks in the triple clamps, have those been moved uh, from stock? I want to say yes, yeah. Okay, and that's fine too, okay. because you're always going to experiment with stuff. Um, and then from your riding perspective, how long have you been racing the bike? A year and a half. Okay, and where? California Speedway, and Button Willow, Las Vegas Classic Course, uh, Streets of Willow. So all the bumpy stuff. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Glutton for punishment? Got it, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, um, well, let's do this. Uh, I have to talk to Brian really quick. Sure. Um, in the interim, let's get your bike over here and put it in the chalk. Okay. Uh, and at that point, then I'll walk you through the entire what we do and why, which should at that point give you a better understanding of what's important in terms of the springs, your body weight, where the settings are. And from that point, that you understand if there's a problem, why that problem occurs. The other side of the coin is on Sport Bike Wrench, we have lots of how-to videos. My site's got lots of stuff on there about why tire wear is a certain way. I see, okay. So you can research your own information and start believing in your own feedback. Okay. And that way you won't have to rely on other people. And most importantly, when you get a problem, you'll know to duplicate it and you'll be able to begin to extrapolate why the, why the potential may be there for Excellent. that problem. So okay. that. In about 15 minutes, we should be able to give you quite quite an education. So if you can give me five minutes with Brian, um, I'll come get you, we'll get the bike, and we'll get started. Okay. Okay. Let's get that put away first. Okay. So, the chain is fine. Um, Bike went down where? Uh, has, it, it, has it crashed? Yeah, it kind of fell over, but nothing major. Okay, where? Which track? The infield of Las Vegas. Okay. Actually. How long ago? A year ago. Okay. Did you undo anything on the front end? Undo. By that you mean? Loosen bolts. Okay. Because no. your front end is bent. Okay, so what you have, see this triple clamp, everything should be straight. You have, see this handlebar pushes yeah. out just a little more than this one? Get your head right in the middle. Yeah. And so your front end is tilted slightly just wow. a little bit. Every, any and every time you go down, you always loosen the lower triple clamp. Oh, really? Because the forks will turn, and that creates a stress which will pull one way or the other even if it's slow. So we've already had one bike this morning where the front end was tweaked and the bar was in the wrong place, just like this. So you're riding around with it turning easy one way, but not turning quite the same the other way. I see. So the bike is determining what you do, which is not letting you relax, because the bike should do exactly as it's told, and it's not. So we'll fix that um, and get that done right away. It's reasonably minimal, but the bar position is a big deal. I see. Because if you're riding around like this, right. it's gonna to turn totally differently. So it's important to at least have them even. 
A lot of times you can, depending on what the rider wants, you can bring them in or you can push them out. And sometimes it doesn't seem like much movement, but at the end of the bar is several millimeters, right. which can make turning a lot less, a lot less effort, much easier on counter steering, which will allow you to look ahead because you touch the bar and it starts to go. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix that first. So your lower triple clamp has these two Allen bolts. So we just need to undo these. Loosen. <laughs> American and English not working together. I could get into some Mancunian slang and really confuse him, which would be really comical. Like bugger off and stop mithering me. Okay. So anytime you crash, you always do this. Okay. Handlebars, both handlebars, and the lower triple clamp. So that one's loose. And that one's loose. Yep. which is what it shows, it's twisted around. This is the tight side. And that's totally normal, because if one side is stressed more than the other, the bolt's gonna be much harder to undo. Right. Okay. So just loosening on the that's what's necessary, you don't have to adjust anything? That's part one. So now, because we have the bike in the chalk, we can push the bars one way. I see. You hear it crack? Yep. And then, push them the other way. No crack going this way, but it cracked going that way, which means this, this tube was turned inwards. So now you can go either side and it flexes properly. There's still a little crack in there. You can hear that. But that should center it up. Just like you did with a bicycle as a kid. It's, it's crude. But we're not at the track. We don't have a. We're not at a shop with a measuring machine to get it perfect. We just need to have it close. That way, when you want the bike to turn left to right, it steers exactly the same way, so it's neutral. If it turns fast one way and it requires more effort the other way, that hits your subconscious, and you're like, even though you think you're not paying attention, you are, and that means you're not fully attentive to what you're doing with the bike. So let's go ahead, tighten these back up. 